This is Steve with Pro Tools PC, and in this video, I wanna talk about the new Pro Tools commit feature. So the first thing to talk about is actually what commit is and what we're doing. Uh, when we're saying uh, commit a track, you could kind of think of it like a bounce in place. Um, it is a lot quicker, a lot more versatility. So in this situation, for instance, I've got a VI here with a multi-output VI, so say SSD sampler. And here are all of my tracks with various outputs from that drum sampler. Uh, there's a couple auxes in here that technically aren't outputs. Um, but uh, what this allows us to do now is quickly just render all these tracks down independently rather than having to uh, bus them out, set up routing, go through a long process. Um, you know, if we want to do the bouncing disk uh, and setting them all to individual outputs, uh, things like that. You can also uh, do it with audio tracks. So say you got audio tracks with a lot of plugins on them. Um, you want to free up resources. Uh, this track here, say for instance, um, you could also just bounce this audio track and bounce it through all of your plugins, or you could do something a little more specific and say, um, commit up to this insert, which means, um, I guess that's kind of backwards. It'd be kind of like commit down to this insert. So it would commit all of the plugins up to the last plugin that you told it to commit to, and then it won't commit the plugins underneath of it. Another cool thing is the ability to um, output all of the uh, output stems from your multi-output VI all in one pass. So uh, select the length on your MIDI track and go ahead and set everything how you want it. Click OK. Uh, the dialog pops up. Click Yes. Then it will go through and render all of the outputs on your VI. Another feature related to this is the ability to um, render all of the tracks that are routed through an aux and commit them onto a track. So in this case, on this drum aux, I have all of the auxiliaries from the VI routed through this common aux and so in this case I'll just select sorry this length of the aux and commit get everything set up how you want it click OK and it will go through uh, all of the tracks that are routed through this auxiliary and commit them onto a single track Thank mm -hmm. you. 